Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to Demon Souls on the PS3. As usual my name is Mike, otherwise known as the Gadget Addict, and you join me back in the Tower of Latria. And I have remembered where the key is, where we need to go, and wouldn't you know, it's in front of this behemoth. In fact, it's this item here. Ooh. There we go, Pris Prison of Hope Warden's Key. I can't believe I was so close to actually what I needed to do, and I didn't fucking do it, because I couldn't remember where the bloody key was. Oh, it's be, it, to be fair, it has been like two years since I played this game, so, you know, I can't be liable to remember everything. So we just run past this hot mess of a creature here, hoping that we can get out of the way before the soul arrow comes. Woo! Right, okay, out of the way. So let's carry on with the objective, which is to kill the boss. No, not there. It is up here. And I believe it is up here. Yes! Now we have two mind flayers to deal with here, so... Alright, hang on. Got me late moon grass on. Oh, he spotted me. You seen he did his sound attack thing. I can see there's two of them over here. I'll grab that item in a second. I kind of want to fight them individually. I don't want to face them as a pair. Because that is a very good way to die. Right, that's one of them down. Is his friend going to come and investigate? No, you colossal, tentacle-headed fuckwit. Ooh! I'm going to not get sloppy there with the uh, the old attacking. Uh, to be fair, it's because I sprinted up to them, so I used a bit too much stamina. What the hell is that? It's a piece of... I have no idea what that is. It's obviously a piece of environment from up above. It doesn't look like it's anything worth interacting with. Anywho! Right, okay, so let's head down here and we get another renowned hero. So this is going to come good to us when we get back to um, the Nexus and I start leveling up again. So I'm only level 17. I'm doing surprisingly well. Alright, open. Sesame! Uh, I prefer the Bloodborne kind of two handed open the door kind of animation. Right. Trying to remember what's up here. Failing miserably as well. Don't think we have to deal with any more, uh, any more mind flares for a little while. Nope, no extra items down here. Okay. Let's get down to here. I always felt that there should be something beyond that. Right. Now I know in a minute we're going to face our first red phantom enemy. I'm personally looking forward to it. You know it's now we're behind the uh, arrows of death shooty spinny thingy. There's a technical term for it. Okay. Yeah, the red phantom is up there wearing the ring of fog so you can't see her. I have a feeling that she's probably the one that activated this. Pull that. It's closed. And now we can get all these awesome items. And this also functions as a shortcut. See, many soldiers have tried to get up here, or hollows rather. Clever rat's ring. I think that's a good one to have, actually. We shall investigate in a second. Stone of ephemeral eyes. Okay, hang on. What was the clever rat's ring? Attack power rise of thirty percent or lower HP. Well, seeing as I'm not in soul form, I don't need the cling ring on. Put that on. Thief string. Alright, this enemy can do... I can't remember whether it can do bleed or poison. I think it can do both, actually. So I'll tell you what, ring of poison resistance. But before we take on the red phantom... Because the boss room is up ahead in that churchy-looking thing up there. 
that may or may not actually be a church. I also think you should be able to open this door because there looks there is world beyond it. It's obviously just there to serve the purpose of being scenery. But there is a trick to this boss. You see, this boss is called the Fool's Idol. And it has a particular trick. It has a particular thing, if you are a fool and don't know about it. That Yeah, if you don't know about it, it'll make your life hell. In fact, it'll it'll actually make the fight completely impossible. And it's one of these things, until you actually get in the boss room, you don't ever even notice it. You come up to here, it opens Sesame. Right, down below is the boss room. And this is much in the same way of the gaping dragon fight in um, Dark Souls. This guy here, he's doing a little bit of magic. What? What do you want? I am a humble servant. I do not wish to interfere. I won't cause you trouble. I won't. As a matter of fact, you will. Did you say anything else? What? I, I won't. Yeah. Fuck you, buddy. Yeah, he will buff the boss and he will heal the boss. Prison of Hope, special key. I forget what that actually unlocks. I'll have to research that one. I can't actually remember what the special key unlocks. Anyway, let's go take on the Red Phantom. Which, if I remember rightly, is a real fucking pain in the ass to do. There is a thing on the side of the other. I think it just gives you another catalyst. The fact that I can't remember what it gives you means it's probably not important. I seem to be able to remember all the important and salient points here, but and forget all the irrelevant stuff. Or rather, I suppose, the stuff I never do. Because I've played through this game several times, and I kind of know what I like to do and what I don't like to do. So, gearing up for a phantom fight. This phantom can be a little bit of a bitch if you're not prepared for it. No, I can't open that door. It's through out here. It's like a pre-boss before the boss. And if you let her get too far away from you, she disappears because she's wearing the Ring of Fog, so you have to be within a certain radius to her. She'll start throwing stuff soon. There we go. See what I mean? She's an absolute dick to fight. I tend to kind of just whittle her down a bit. I think Turpentine also helps for this fight. Woo, that was good timing. So you should punish those people who go for a second hit. I think you can parry her as well. But I've never tried and I've never really had the time because there's a very good chance she can always combo me to death. Oh, plague, that's it. So poise, Ring of Poison Resistance wouldn't have helped one iota. I have no idea what cures plague. I never have anything that cures plague. I just have to keep moving back. See, when she gets a crossbow, you can go in and punish her like that. Alright, come on, come on, come on. I'm happy enough to just contently keep chipping away at her. I didn't do anything. Oh, I should have hit her there. I'm really running out of healing items. How long does fucking play glass for? It's 
Seriously. Can this deathly effect not be worn off? Oh, I need to find a merchant. Oh, this is not good. Oh shit. I'm gonna die. Now, oh, there we go, I'm dead. See, if I hadn't caught the plague there, it would have been fine. I'll tell you what, I'm going to have to go back to the Nexus and get some healing items. So I will bring you back when I've successfully beat her. Okay, so quickly on the run back, I've remembered what the special key does. It lets me get... Magnificent. This fella out. I never expected to get out of there alive. My name is Frake. Frake, that's it. I am known as a sage. I thought my magic would give me an edge against these demons, but how wrong I was. I have been enfeebled by my long imprisonment. But I can still move my legs, and I can make it back to the Nexus. I've killed everything between here I and the Nexus. I thank the stars that I escaped when I did. I owe you my life. Groovy. And I got Jerry's stiletto. Which I'll have a look at later. Right. Back to the run back. Now even though I've opened the gates here, I don't need to use them because if you remember, I turned off the big gunny shooty thingy. So I can now just head straight to the ground floor and run straight through. Past the mess of souls. And as long as you keep moving in a reasonable fashion, you won't get caught by its soul arrow. They can't even hit you when you get to this point. Okay, so I sucked off the, um, the, what do you call it, the Ring of Poison Resistance. That clearly does not do anything. I don't know what items cure plague, and I don't think at this point in the game I can actually get any. So I'm back to using the Ring of Fog. Um, I've also got that 30% health one. I've got 31 Crescent Moon Grass, with the potential to buy more if I need it. Although, to be fair, I will lose all my souls. And she won't see me until I'm nearly on top of her. Right. Right, okay. Up to a decent -ish start. Fuck you, bitch! And so she puts her shield up when she finishes attacking. Okay, go on, fire a bolt. Okay, interesting. Of course, the issue here is try, try to avoid getting hit. I don't like enemies that can inflict a status effect. Oh, you bitch! Keep the health topped off just in case. Well, very likely that I'll need it. I also resurrected to human, just so I had all the health. Not really that bothered by the world tendency. I've already kind of fucked it, so I can't really do anything about it. I appreciate this is a long ass fight of me just strafing. healing. Ooh! Nice move. And this is one of those enemies that when I kill her, she won't return. The reach on that sword, though. <laughs> if I was using some of the S-stock of the Claymore, it would reach even further. Okay, come on. Give me an open window. Seriously, the boss isn't even this awkward. And this is actually the more, one of the more awkward bosses in the game. Ah. Come on. 
You haven't got much life left. Just let me kill you. Please. Ah, oh, I should have followed it up and tr maybe try and kill her. I'm surprised you did not take that window. Die, bitch! Excellent. Black eye stone, chunk of moonlight stone, stone of ephemeral eyes. Cool. Alright, okay, let's take on the boss. This is the fool's idol. An easy boss on paper, but quite awkward in practice. Oh, it's a, it's a rather fantastic arena. I love the design of that. Now, I don't believe she gets hostile until I get close to her. So I want to take out the Acolytes as quickly as possible. How's that say? Another redo, it never ends. Now why is that here? Because I'm actually offline. So there shouldn't be any soapstone messages or whatever they are. Unless that's a message from the developers. She doesn't get hostile until I get closer to her. Which gives me an apple opportunity to kill these guys. So, so, just so. Uh, what do you drop? Royal Lotus. Not useful for this fight, but okay. That voice is reviving the idol, which is that voice up there. So that's a developer message. Whoa! Yep, she got hostile. Alright. Serpentine, right now she revives copies of herself. Right. Okay, so we need to find the real one. And whale on her as much as we can. In fact, there's no point having the shield, so we might as well... tell which ones are real because well which one is real because one the size of the health bar or the fact that they have a health bar fuck why the hell don't I keep seeing those and the size of the soul arrow that they threw As well, get the side of them over here, baby's nail, which is the weapon that the um, that enemy was just throwing at us. Right. Okay. There, that one there. Fuck. Bad spot, bad spot, bad spot, bad spot, bad spot. Oh, 
Oh shit! Okay. Fuck. <laughs> oh, that is the first time I've ever fucked up that fight. I've never not beaten that her on the first attempt. God damn it, right, okay, time to run all the way fucking back. Ah, oh, fuck. Join me when I get there. Okay, and we're back. Here we go again. Well, the Acolyte should be revived. Yes, yes, we've seen this. Hey, right, remember, we need to destroy all the chairs. And kill all the Acolytes. Alright, you run away. And before we fight the boss, I'm gonna get my souls back. Royal Lotus. I wish they would drop some fucking healing items. Try some stunts some on a Yahtzee. <laughs> what about this item? Old Spice. I'm not a magic user, so I don't need Old Spice. I'm also not Terry Crews. The music here is cool as fuck, though. Souls back. Mm, can't get around there. I think part of this fight is spatial awareness more than anything because you kind of need to know where the boss is at all times and where she set her traps. Like that. Okay. And we're off. to work out which one is her. Just cast... That would be her. Oh, fuck! Ah, uh, time that alright, actually. Top of the old health. Uh, that's her. Top up on the old health again. And she doesn't reset the traps unless you actually set them off. Oh shit! Right. 
Okay, this one. Nearly got it. And she's out of there. Ugh. Told you, the grand scheme of things is not the most complicated boss in the world. But you're sure it doesn't make it easy on you. What's that particular saying to say? Oh, that's the voice reviving the idle one. Okay, so I got about 8,000 souls for that. It's not bad going. So then we go to the altar. I think I... Yeah, I picked up that item. It was the baby's nail. Now, you'll notice I muted it here because last time I did a playthrough of this, there's a church bell sound in the background and I got persistently um, copyright striked on it. Like, constantly. So there's a bit of music in the background while these demon things come and take us up. Not because I'm worried about copyright strikes, it's just I simply cannot be arsed with it. <laughs> it's really random as well because, like, someone's... Like, this bell sound is from a sound library. The bell sound that you're not hearing. It's from a sound library, and um, the owners of the sound library just every time. But this is such a common church bell that it's actually used in Dark Souls as well. But I don't get copyright striked on that, so they must have, like, pitch-tuned it or something. Okay, so they're bringing us at the Archstone is at the top of these stairs, and you're going to see probably the coolest fucking area in the whole damn game. Come to these stairs. I was going to think there must be an item around here. Look at this. This is Tarot Latria 2. And it is the most complex, convoluted, spectacular part of the game. Oh, it's so fucking good. I love this area. It's hard as fuck, and the boss is a nightmare. Unless you cheese it like I normally do. Let's return to the Nexus. That's Tower Latria. One done. Fantastic. We'll get some leveling up done, and I'll end the episode. Oh, it's always good fun. Alright, where's... The girl with the eyes. She's normally hanging around here. Oh, there she is, over there. And we should be able to talk to Sage Freak. He'll have, he, he will have appeared around here. Stand up, girl. Thou seek then. Right, seek soul power. Of the mind, key to life's ether. It's a strength. Soul of the lost, withdrawn from its vessel. We get that up to. Let strength be granted, so the world might be mended. 26. So the world might be mended. Then we'll put another point into endurance. Okay. Art thou done? Yes, thou art done. I think Frey Kang's around here somewhere. Now it's a bin. Yeah, there he is. Hmm. I have a proposal for you. Could you bring your demon souls to me? As I determine more about the essence of the soul, I can teach you new magic. A demon soul is no mere amalgamation of lesser souls. You have your wits about you. Surely you understand me. Okay, so we can learn spells from him. Do you get the soul ray for the doll demon soul, fire spray for the hard demon souls. Um, so, I'm undecided whether or not I want to use magic. Enchant weapon is a really useful one to have against bosses. Um, Demon's Prank is entirely useless. Generate a sound in a far-off place. I am fully prepared. Please fetch more demon cells. Yes, yes, yes. Right, okay, so I'm going to leave this here for now. So if you enjoyed this, please do leave a like and subscribe. And come back next time for more demon cells. For now, though, thank you for watching. Good night. Good night.